Hey guys, I'm kind of bored this morning, so I guess I'll make a quick video of stuff that I got since my last video. Set this down real quick. Excuse the background. It's just going to be my door. Um, first I'll start with the pens. I got a, I think it's a Shape Schaefer VFM. Cheap little fountain pen, but it writes pretty well for the price. It's about 12 or 15 dollars. Got orange simply because I think all my other pens are darker colors. Um, the next two are my two grails. I got a Namaki VP, the vanishing point. These ones are discontinued with the green faceted um, plastic body. And then I love these because it's a retractable fountain pen comes in handy. This one I just got yesterday from my friend. It's my other grail and I've been lusting after it for, I don't know, close to 10 years now. When I first got into fountain pens I was about 14. So really nice pen. I haven't inked it up yet. Just came in the mail last night. Alright, next up are the knives. Let's see. I've got, I think it's the Makusta Suchi. I got it with the green handles. To be quite honest, um, it, it's a nice knife. Not something I actually wanted, but I got in a trade because the other party really wanted my Goal Zero solar panel and Guide 10 kit. So I just went ahead and traded with him. Nice little blade, super sharp. Um, at least out of the box I think it's sharp I don't believe the other party used it at all um, yeah clip is deep carry but it only comes tip down not my favorite at all so there's that next one I got at the plaza cutlery knife show a couple months ago back in October this is the um, Shepman church key has a little bottle opener right here. Cute little knife. I do like to carry it, except I tend to just keep it at home. Sometimes at work, I never bring it out in public simply because it could be mistaken as a dagger grind right here because of the point. And then on the sheath, I keep John Gage's pendant that I won a couple months ago. There's quite a while actually. Um, this one's also from the Plaza, Plaza Cutlery show. It's one of Ota's uh, Hiroaki's friction folders. I love his work, um, and they're relatively inexpensive. This one is um, D2. I don't know what the handle was. He told me, but I completely forgot. But this is D2 steel. And I just really like the blade shape on this one. This one's actually the this one right here is actually the one I got last year. I kind of made it a tradition to always buy one of his knives at the knife show. So yeah, cute little friction folders, relatively inexpensive, especially for something handmade like that. Put these away real quick. Kershaw Zing. It's the first flipper I've ever been able to flip. Um, I got this at a get together a couple, couple weeks ago I believe. Cute little knife, perfect size. It's the um, what RJ Martin's design. Love the little I guess scallopy looking thing. But yeah, my first little flipper. At the Plaza Cutlery Knife Show I actually did get a hinderer in the lottery but I gave that to my brother. So it's not here right now. The clip is changeable from tip down and tip up. So that's pretty nice. Oh, I can't, can't do it when I'm laying down like this. <laughs> I also got this little guy at the get together. Cute little knife. Look at that. Tiny. It's like the size of my middle finger. Just about. Love it. I do carry this out in public and stuff. Around my neck. Cute little thing. No one gets scared. 
which comes in handy and then the little paracord and everything let's see what else did I get at the knife show this is I usually don't even like pry tools but I love this one it's got the little bit thingy right here I forgot what this is called but um, bottle opener pry tool and my favorite part it has a pocket clip this is from my friend David Sharp he started getting into um, making knives and tools not too long ago and he was um, one of announced that blade 2013 as one of the makers to follow so this is David Sharp of Sharpworks cool little pry tool I think there's only two made that has the clip but he might start making more since people have been asking me for it and I told him about it all right last knife I have such a cool knife um, this is Stefan Espy's nine spy cool little clip right here I love it because it's got the modified flipper I've been trying to look for these knives for the longest time I think um, there's two more that I would really like and that's from Willem Steenkamp and the other is Gaza or Gareth Bull except that he kind of disappeared but Steenkamp's is really cool he had um, oh back to this one this one's the nine spy and there's actually one that's made as a friction folder called the Higoter and then yeah, pretty large blade it's um, I think 3.4 inches and then overall it's 8 inches long so it's pretty large but because it's so slim easy to carry I think it's I believe it's full titanium yeah I don't know it's just really nice I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it so there's that and then random little pillbox I got at the art store. This has Ron English's um, super sized on it. Little pillbox. Um, I just keep gum and some ibuprofen in it. And last thing for my flashlight, I got one of Pete Gray's beads. I think it looks pretty cool. I believe this is blasted zirconium got it from a friend super cool yeah I think that's everything so here's my pile of stuff one more time and that's it for now take care